Have you ever skipped bleeding your brakes because you cannot stand the process of doing it? Have you ever ridden with subpar or squishy brakes because you just couldn't get them to bleed any better? Chopper guys are inherently risk takers. And if you're watching my channel, I can guarantee you are a risk taker. And I am firmly in that camp with you. There's a lot of things on my bike that I take chances on, but bleeding the brakes is not one of them. Most of us chopper guys are running one brake. So it is super, super important that we get this right and we make that one brake work as well as we possibly can. So today I'm gonna show you how one $7 part right here on my fingers will change the way you bleed your brakes forever. When somebody showed these to me, I picked up a set and I have never gone back to the old ways. No vacuum pumps, no having a buddy come over to hold the lever for you, one person job, 10 minutes or less, you're watching Grease's Garage, we're bleeding brakes today and I'm gonna help you skip the struggle. Step one for this process is going to be to locate your master cylinder. Now on my Evo Softail, it is right up here in the front. It's got two Phillips head screws on it. So we're gonna go ahead and pop these screws off and then we'll show you what the inside looks like. Here we go guys, with this cover removed, we will go ahead and set this right here on the floorboard. That's one thing I love about floorboards. You get an automatic holder for all the parts. So I've got the cover off of the master cylinder. And if you look down in there, you can see that fluid is very murky looking. Brand new brake fluid for my master cylinder, which takes dot five brake fluid, it's clear purple. So this is only one year of use. Uh, getting that brake fluid to break down and start to look like this. So this is why this is something I like to do every year. I do it in conjunction with my oil change because like I said, if you're depending on one brake to save your life, you wanna make sure that fluid is fresh. So to get this out of there, I take a rag, I stick the rag down in there, the rag ends up soaking up all of the brake fluid, then I throw the rag in the garbage. So here's our master cylinder cleaned out and completely empty. Now I'll go ahead and I'll take you over to the brake caliper itself and show you what's different about this bleeder versus the other one. Before we head over to the bike and actually install this guy on the right here, I just wanna show you the difference between these two types of bleeders because this one right over here is really the star of today's video. This is what's called a speed bleeder. So basically, if you look down the tips of these two, again, stock on the left, aftermarket speed bleeder on the right, you can see this one has a brass check valve in that tip right there. For anybody who doesn't know what a brake bleeder looks like, it's this tapered end right here that goes into the caliper, right? So they're both the same in that aspect. They go into the caliper and then the brake fluid is bled out through this nipple on the top, right? Now on this standard style that comes on every motorcycle, when you bleed the brakes, this lets the fluid out, and if you don't close off that valve, it'll just let the fluid right back in, and it goes in and out and in and out, and this is what drives people nuts. Let's put that to the side. What's different about this is that that fluid can come out of your brake caliper, but it can't go back in. So the way that this actually functions is you put this in your brake caliper as you would a normal brake, a, a normal brake bleeder screw. You crack it open, you step on the brake pedal over and over and over until all the air bubbles are gone. And then just like John Taffer on Bar Rescue, you shut it down. I got you guys brought in here on the bike and I'm gonna show you here. Again, this is our speed bleeder, our new one that we're installing. And this is just gonna thread right into our brake caliper. We'll go ahead and spin that guy in. Do not cross thread this thing. Be careful as you install it. And the head of this speed bleeder is a 3 8 So I'm just gonna take a 3 8 ratchet and we'll go ahead and tighten this guy in there. You're only gonna tighten this thing down snug. I don't have a, uh, a torque spec that I put on it per se, but you do not need to crank this thing or over tighten it. It's a very small bolt and you could break your caliper by doing that. So once you start to feel resistance, I give it just a little more, maybe an eighth of a turn and that's in there just like that. So now with our brake bleeder installed, we can go ahead, fill the master cylinder with fluid, and then we can bleed the brakes themselves. Here's just a close-up shot of that brake bleeder. So you can see what it looks like. This is the caliper here. This is the brake bleeder we just installed. And it comes with 
this little guy, which is just a little boot that goes over the end. This is, you don't put this on right now, but that's, that's essentially what it'll look like when it's installed on the bike. But since we are actively working with it right now, we're gonna leave that boot off until we're finished. Sorry to interrupt your video, but I just wanna give you a quick reminder that if you're liking the content and you're getting value out of this channel, please hit that subscribe button so that you never miss any notifications. And speaking of notifications, I'm finally getting into making the merch happen. I got the first samples of the Grease's Garage t-shirts and this bad boy over here, the Grease's Garage five panel caps. Love me a good five panel hat. It's got the snap closure on the back so you can put it around your handlebars when you're riding and then put it on when you get where you're going. These are now live on the website. The link is down in the description. The shirts, the hoodies, stickers, all coming soon. Keep your eyes peeled for that. I will let you know when they're available. I got you guys brought over here to the master cylinder. We're now ready to fill it up. A quick note, because you who are watching this video could be running any caliper, or excuse me, any master cylinder, it's important to note, your master cylinder will tell you, see this here says dot five brake fluid from sealed container, right? So my particular master cylinder takes dot five. Yours could take dot three, dot four. Uh, make sure you read what yours calls for. So I have this motor medic dot five brake fluid. I have no affiliation with this company. Uh, this is just the one my local parts store carries. So now we will go ahead and, and show you guys how we do the brake bleeding itself. So we'll go ahead and fill the master cylinder. You see this is what new dot five brake fluid looks like. It is purple, a bright purple at that. So we're gonna start by filling that master cylinder just like that. And now we'll go over to the caliper itself, crack the bleeder valve and start the bleeding process. So we are almost ready to actually start the bleeding process. First, we're just gonna take, this is just a uh, flexible hose, and we're gonna put that over our brake bleeder screw, and we're just gonna drop the other end right here so that it is down into this drain pan. We don't wanna get brake fluid all over the place. So with that hooked up, we will go ahead, grab our 3 8 wrench, and we're just gonna crack this bleeder screw so that the valve opens. There we go, valve is open. And now we're gonna just start pressing on that brake pedal, just like this. Slow presses, we don't wanna spill any of that fluid. And we're just gonna send all the air bubbles out the line. Can you hear that noise? That right there, that's the air purging out that one-way check valve. And you see, this is all I'm doing. I don't have to be grabbing handles, I don't have to be grabbing a wrench, opening and closing, I just press, 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 press. Super, super simple. Now, once the fluid gets low enough here, because again, we're trying to force it all through this line and we have air pockets that we're filling with this fluid, eventually I'm gonna have to top this off before this fluid gets so low that you get another air bubble in through this side. So just push until it starts to push all those air bubbles out and top off as needed. I'll show you what it looks like on the other end. Here I've got you zoomed in now on that bleeder and I'm doing the same thing. Pressing the brake pedal over and over and you can see it's starting to push air out of that check valve. And we're just gonna keep pressing like this until all we see coming out of that bleeder is fluid. Now it's a little hard for you to see on the camera, so I'm just gonna bring you in over to the end of the drain line. You can see right now, we've pretty much gotten through all the fluid. That's really all there is to it. It's, the line is completely bled out, and now you can see down here, this is just brake fluid emptying through that drain port. So what we're gonna do now is close that bleeder valve back up, and that's it, job done. So we'll take our wrench and we will just Snug that down. There we go. So now we've got our bleeder valve tightened. We can go ahead and take our drain hose line off, set that aside. And then all that's left to do now, I like to just give it a quick wipe to make sure there's no fluid still on it, slip our boot back on over it, and that's it. That's all there is on the bleeder end. 
Now I'll take you over to the master cylinder. We'll top it off to make sure it's got enough fluid and then we're job done. Here we are guys. We are back with the master cylinder. We drained about one master cylinder's worth of the brake fluid through it. So we're just gonna go ahead, give it a little bit more, make sure that it's got plenty in there for this season. And that's it. We're ready to seal the master cylinder back up. You can see huge difference between when we started, what that fluid looked like, and that bright, bright purple that you're seeing right now. That's the difference that one year makes. So like I said, do not skimp on this. When you do your oil change, do your brake fluid change. Just do them at the same time, then you never gotta wonder when's the last time you did it. And that's it, guys. All buttoned back up on the master cylinder side, all buttoned back up on the brake caliper side. And here we are, guys, the final test here. You push on the brake pedal. You can see you have hardly any travel, and right there, she locks up. That is a nice, tight brake pedal, just how you want to see it, especially when you're running only one brake. So never feel like you need to skip this job. Never feel like it's too much of a pain. One $7 part will change your life, and this will become part of your annual maintenance. You did it. You bled the brakes. That is awesome, but don't go out into the riding season before you check out this video showing you how to change the oil on your Harley Davidson Evo Softail, another critical maintenance component that's gonna make sure your bike is running in tip top shape and doesn't leave you on the side of the road. Thanks for watching Grease's Garage and I'll catch you guys next week.